bad, very bad. Oh, for Pete, how bad can it be? I'll just trot around the corner and make quick work of it. Be back in a jiff. Whoa. Watch out, Tick. He looks like he's gonna charge. Nonsense, Arthur. Clowns don't charge. They scamper. They waddle. They caper. They do funny little jigs to amuse. Evidently, angry clowns do charge. Okay, clown, the tick is closing your little circus down. <laughs> That's it. Keep on trucking. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello, clown? This is your mind speaking. Oh, hi. Sorry I haven't been around much lately. I'm easily distracted by shiny objects. Yes, shiny objects are good. Where am I? We, I, outer space, looks like. Outer space, wow. I thought there was an awful lot of space. Why am I here? Well, that I don't know, but I guess, uh, hey. Did you just ask an existentialist question? Well, I don't know, did I? <laughs> you did, you did. Say something else all smart and philosophical. Huh. It's pretty cold out here. Yes, yes, it's so true. We're all born into the cold, unyielding world of nothing. No blankets, no glove and scarf gift sets. And why? Why? You're pretty goofy. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, what a goofy work is man. Yes! I never knew we were such a spiritual seeker. Me neither. This could be a big chance. Tick, let's go on a psychic journey of self-discovery. Okay. Great, great. So, uh, relax and fall into a deep trance. No problem. You're falling deeper and deeper into your own... You and the others get Bud to safety. He's our only hope. I'll keep the clown busy. You can't hold that monster off by yourself. I'll stay and help. No, you go. I'll stay. Deflator Mouse, you'd stay to help me? Yeah, sure. What kind of a guy do you think I am? Besides, what can you do anyway? Hit it with a shoe? Don't start with me! Tick, this flat, desolate, featureless expanse is your mind. Wow, it's really flat. We must cross this region to find the answer to your innermost question. What question? The why are you here question? Oh yeah, that one. Follow me. I shall guide you to the source of your answers. Huh? What's that? Something shiny. What? Where? Out there, come on! Hey, no fair, I'm supposed to be the guide. Wait up! This is Protoclown. The first and last of its kind. My gosh, man! Didn't you realize that it's against the laws of nature? Clowns were never meant to be that big! I know that now. What manner of quandary is this? <laughs> You gotta slow down, Tick. Oh, hey, I see you found your pleasure center. Yes. <laughs> they sound like they're having so much fun. I have an idea. I'll go take a look. You wait here. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Just a short look. Won't be long. Tick, no, don't. If you go in there, we'll lapse into a coma of pure ecstasy from which we'll never awaken. Ooh, sounds pretty good. <laughs> is a scary place. That's bizarre with a capital B. <laughs> Behind you! Hey! <laughs> tick! Tick, where are you? Tick! <laughs> you don't date much, do you? Your monster's too tough, Frontier. I let him have it with both of my shoes, and he still kept coming. Oh, both shoes? It is a monster. Mom, what? Where? Oh, the last thing I remember, I was fighting and... Don't you mean fainting? Ho, ho, I think that clown hit you one time too many, sweetheart. Clown Bud! Boy, when this guy faints, he faints. The garage! It's our only chance!
It should have busted in by now. Where is it? Huh? What's happening? You don't want to know, the fainter mouse. You know, that whole water serpent thing sure ended suddenly. Yes, these psychic journeys tend to jump around a lot. That's why you need a good spiritual guide to lead you. No way, pal. You don't even know where you're going. <laughs> hey, a giant statue. What is it? Oh, sure, now you ask. This is your self-image. Ooh, I look cool. This is our chance to delve deep into our psyche and find the immutable truth. You can ask it one and only one question. Okay, okay, one question. Check. <clears throat> um, uh... How you doing? Oh, great. That's your big question? That's your big truth? You goober. Look, thumbs up. We're doing fine. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, that last one didn't count, okay? Hello? Hey, hey, hello? <clears throat> Why are we here? Hey, hey, stop that! What kind of answer is this? Who are these little guys? We've triggered your defense mechanisms. Run for it! Jeez. Oh, I had no idea that I was so defensive. Out! Cut that! Out. Leave me alone! <laughs> it's quiet. Almost too quiet. It was at the door. We should be hero gumbo by now. What happened? I can't stand it anymore. You guys can wait for that thing to bust in here and pound you. I'm getting out. Oh, man, don't you ever knock. What's this? Never mind, just push the up button. Push the up button! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to eat fish for a while. Hey, mind, where are we? This is your escalator of enlightenment. Ooh, really? What do I need one of these for? <sighs> oh, gee, I guess I don't know. At this rate, you'll be back to midget land in no time. No more midgets. Hurry up already. What's keeping you, slowpoke? Uh, I don't have little wings on my head like some people. <laughs> hup, 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 hup. What's the matter? Getting tired? No pain, no gain, little mister. <laughs> Must make it, must succeed, must be all that I can be! Whoa. Congratulations, you've reached the top! Now, for further enlightenment, you must clear your mind and step out into the void. Pardon me? I step off? I fall? Boy, do I fall! You faithless Philistine, you won't fall if you clear your mind and believe. Now, cover your eyes and clear your consciousness. Hurry up, chop chop. Is it clear? Uh-huh. You sure it's clear now? Yeah. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Without a shadow of a... I said yes! It's clear! Good. What? Ah! Oh, yeah. Really clear. So why are we falling? You said your mind was clear. Well, it was clear. I mean, except for stuff. No time for excuses. There's only one way out of this predicament. Tick! Why are you here? Wait, I, I know this one. Uh, now, don't tell me. I'm here because... A big clown hit me! <laughs> No, no, see there? That wasn't so hard. How do you feel? I feel... I feel... hot. That'd be re-entry. Bye. I mean, I'm really burning up here. Ooh, and it's a dry heat, too. Why? How? Don't take it so hard, mister. There are many mysteries in this universe, big and small. Like, why do clowns make us laugh? Why do we love puppy dogs? And why... Why do little blue midgets hit me with fish? What? See what I mean? Mysteries abound. Exactly who are we dealing with here? His name is Lou Salazar. He was the most despicable civil servant in the history of solid waste management. Very bad. The most corrupt commissioner of sanitation this city's ever had. Ooh, scary. Yeah, now he calls himself Sarver the Sewers. Lou Salazar, Sewers are. Whew, say that five times fast. No time, Dick. <laughs> Do a... Dick! Dick! Quick! Get out of there! Oh, come on, Urchin! It's 
not that bad. Hey, just like soda pop. <laughs> oh, Heck, don't move. Sure, lobsters pick. I thought there were alligators in the sewer. <laughs> I mean, I was ready for alligators. Ah, oh, no. That's definitely a myth. We got lobsters. You can always chase them off with a little melted butter and some lemon. We better keep moving. Sewers are probably knows we're here by now. Oops. Getting dumb. Besides, I think we've weathered the worst of it. Oh, hey, look! Somebody lost their wallet! Ah! Then go! Huh? Wallet angler! <laughs> yeah, wallet angler. Uses a living wallet for bait. Very dangerous. <laughs> Hours alone. Uh, excuse me, uh, Lou. Uh, I don't want to step out of line here, but seriously, have you given this much thought? Excuse me? I mean, I think what he means is those people up there are the primary generators of filth. Without them, there'd be no us. It's uh, pretty much a symbiotic relationship, Lou. Okay. Um. Spoon? You incompetent goons! But they had all this foamy white stuff. Yeah, it was sweet smelling and fresh. Rats! He's got soap. Soap, huh? Well, we hated it. Of course you hated it! You're filth! You come from filth, you're going to filth! You know, that's just what we were talking about on the way back. Yeah, what exactly does that mean? Why do we have to go to filth? Yeah, why couldn't we go to the Bahamas? Right, yeah. I mean, see, that's what we were thinking. You know, uh, it's okay to start thinking. But you've got to know when to stop! Hey, Tick. Arthur. <laughs> hey, Stinky. How's it stinking? Whoa, you all stink. Listen, the Flater Mouse. Ow! We spent all night learning an important lesson. You can't judge a sewer by its manhole cover. No, sir. People can be very different under the surface than they might seem. Quiet, mild-mannered souls just might turn out to be roaring lions of two-fisted cool. And roaring lions of two-fisted cool just might have some crippling lobster problems. Listen, man, it's all crazy down there under the surface. A lost wallet could bite you in half. A bar of soap could save your life. Egad, a disgusting mound of muck just might have some very compelling ideas. Do you dig me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ew, mucus. <sighs> the scourge of mankind. <laughs> this cold really has you on the ropes, doesn't it, Tick? No mere common cold, Arthur. No. <clears throat> this must be some super interstellar mutant virus from space. Empires have fallen at the foot of this pox. <laughs> Arthur, resistance wearing down. Must have more soup. Soup? I'd better get this to its rightful owner. Arthur, is that you? Eyes failing, chicken soup, only chance for survival. Oh, Tick, relax. Everybody gets a cold once in a while. Please, the soup. Listen, I'm going to take this letter to the right apartment. I'll be back soon. <laughs> 14B. Well, this must be the place. Ah! 
What? Who are you? Thrakozog, from Dimension Apartment 14B. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. Bing! Wiggity Chipping! Now, now, now. There will be plenty of time for brain eating after we conquer Earth. <laughs> Voila! Arthur the sidekick, prepare to meet Arthur the evil clone. I, Arthur. I, Arthur. I Arthur, I Arthur, I Arthur, I Arthur, I Arthur, I I I Arthur, Arthur, I Arthur, I Arthur. <laughs> He's an eager little bunny, isn't he? They're a bit excitable at first. No, oh, oh, no, no. I Arthur. Evil clone. We do not touch the don't button. That would send Uncle Thrakozog back to his own dimension. And let me say, the ride back is no picnic. I'd rather be strained through a chain link fence. <laughs> Clone? I just had the strangest dream. I was taking some math test I hadn't studied for, and then you tried to saw off my head. Weird, huh? I, Arthur. <laughs> of course you are. And I, Tick. <laughs> A human baboon has pulled something out of his baboon pants. It looks like an unsanctioned foreign object. Yes, it's a scale model of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And he's coming out swinging. Ooh, au revoir, beautiful Stephen. <laughs> Parlez-vous, ouch. Now, a commercial. Oh, Arthur, there you are. So nice to have company to watch TV with. <laughs> Brace yourself while corporate America tries to sell us its wretched things. I like Jack Hammerin. I better. I do it all day long. It's a man's job, and I work up a man's size sweat on my brow. You sure do. But I'm not afraid to pamper myself with a plush tissue when my brow needs a good wiping. Plush? Here, big fella. Sample my tissue. I'll show you a tissue sample. <laughs> Fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. You, I'd regret that burrito. Hey, what's happening here? Uh, the little bunny guy was chafing himself on the ropes, so I loosened him up a bit. You what? He's a moth guy, and how many times do I have to say it? Don't touch my stuff. This is my side of the living room, and that is your side of the living room. And must you drink straight out of the milk carton? It's disgusting. Rally, beautiful Stephen. Rally. Oh, that can't be good for his lower back. Human baboon, you stinker! Stop your evil ways! Oh, no, you don't! Dick! Help! Gad! My cold has escalated into double vision! I'm the real Arthur! He's a clone! I, Arthur! What matter of rare quandary is this? How could I be sure which Arthur is the real Arthur? <laughs> look, Tick, look! He's turning into a monster! Monster? Where? I don't see anything wrong with him, uh, Arthur. If you two don't stop this roughhousing, somebody's gonna get hurt and end up crying. I know how I can prove I'm the real Arthur. I'll tell you something only you and I would know. Uh, go ahead, Arthur-like person. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, remember that time my sister gave me that V-neck sweater vest for my birthday? And, and we tried to return it to the store, and they'd only give me credit. And I was so upset, and, and then at lunch they put onions on my cheeseburger after I expressly asked the waitress not to. Do you remember that day, Tick? Oh, indeed I do. Now your turn. I, Arthur... 
I can't argue with that. <laughs> Is that you, Arthur? Yes! No deed for raised voices. Look, Tick, there's this obscene monster who lives next door, and it wants to clone you and take over the world. Are you sure you're the real Arthur? Oh, come on! Tick, please let me go. It's locked, Tick. Step back, Arthur. I'll take care of the door. Box around with the Tick's bodily membranes. Prepare for swift justice! Oh, ho so foul gelatin, you would do battle with the nose of your birth? Hey, you guys aren't gonna fight in here, are you? And why not? I pay half the rent. We'll lose our cleaning deposit if any half gets messed up. Oh, the cleaning deposit, what was I thinking? Of course you're right. Now what? How about the roof? Good call, Arthur. There's a place good always fights evil. Well, works for me. Mucal invader! Is there no end to your oozing? Adapter! 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 Thanks! I've had enough chasing. It's your turn now, Forest Smog. Thrakosog! Thrakosog with a K! Boy, are you ever rude! Eat good brain! No brains today. We're only serving humble pie, watch a zog Listen, buddy, for the last time, it's Thorax in a bog. Thrakosog! Ah, uh, laxative log. No, no, no. Laplander zog. No. For yaks in a dog. Thrak! Sap sucker frog. No, no, no. <coughs> Susan? <sighs> now you're doing it on purpose. How juvenile. Once again, we're here with prominent superheroes, the Tick and Arthur. Good morning, America. <laughs> Hi. Now, Tick, many questions about you remain unanswered. Hmm. I am a man of mystery. <laughs> yes, yes. But can you tell me, what do you do? Eh? I mean, what are your superhuman powers? Can you see through steel? Uh, you know, with x-rays, can you bend iron bars with your mind? Well, I... Uh, no. Can you create energy-based multiples of yourself? Whoa, <laughs> nope. Can you make diamonds out of coal? No. Shoot heat beams out of your eyes? No. Breathe atomic fire? No. Hmm. <clears throat> well, then, uh, can you destroy the Earth? Egad, I hope not. That's where I keep all my stuff. <sighs> yes, of course it is. Uh, tell me, do you have a girlfriend? I am mighty! I have a glow you cannot see! I have a heart as big as the moon, as warm as bath water! We are superheroes, man. We don't have time to be charming! The boots of evil were made for walking! We're watching the big picture, friend. We know the score. We are a public service, not glamour, boys. Yeah. Not captains of industry, not makers of things. Keep your vulgar monies. We are a justice sandwich. No toppings necessary. Living rooms of America, do you catch my drift? Do you dig? <clears throat> I can fly. Okay, okay, on my side. Go. No. No, wait, wait, right after this truck. No, he's good. Arthur, you're good. Floor it. No. Wait, wait. Okay, all right. After these four cars. Now is the time. Seize the day. Wait, get ready. Not now. Not now. Not now. Go, go, go. Wait, go. Wait, go. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Get us creamed? Listen to Flater Mouse. It wasn't my idea to go to some crazy superhero nightclub in the middle of nowhere. And it certainly wasn't my idea to borrow my sister's car to get there. Oh, but it'll be worth it, Arthur. Think of it. A whole club just for superheroes, packed wall to wall with crime fighters on their night off. Oh, the camaraderie. Oh, P.U. Can someone open a window around here? Sewer urchin really stinks. You're stinking on purpose, aren't you? Ow! Hey, quit it. No, you quit it. Oh, hey, hey, stay yeah. on your side. Oh, this is the line. Don't cross the line. He's on my side. Yeah. He's ah. on my side. Hey, cut that out. 
If you guys can't settle down back there, I'm gonna pull this car over and we can just wait. And so he says to me, you wanna be a bad guy? And I say, yeah, baby, I wanna be bad! I says, sure up, space ponies! I'm making gravy without the lumps! Ah! <laughs> Hey, superheroes welcome. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Yes, but men call me Jim. IDs, please. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, wait a sec, I, I may have left it in my other tights. Oh, I get it, spelling America with a K, are we? Uh-oh, we're being carded. We're definitely being carded. That's not the best picture of me. <laughs> it was a bad ear day. I'll say. The tick? And tingling for fun. This should be interesting. Okay. Hey, it's my favorite blue man. Hey, big shot. My favorite emotionally unbalanced gun-toting vigilante. Come on over. I want you to meet my new friends from Deertown. This is Mighty Agrippa, Roman god of the aqueduct. Oh, well, uh, sometimes. And this is Jet Valkyrie, a woman. Cool. And this is Fish Boy, Lost Prince of Atlantis. Gang, I want you to meet the Tick. Oh man. Oh, Barry's not gonna like this. No, Barry's not gonna like this one bit. Well, maybe he won't show up tonight. He says to me, he says to me, you got style, baby. If you're gonna be a real villain, you gotta get a gimmick. And so I go, I says, yeah, baby, a gimmick, that's it. High explosives. Ah! <laughs> yeah? Keep playing with fire, super fans. You don't know how much fire you're playing with. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, what you got in that poodle gun? Anything for me? So, call me, okay? Hey, sweetheart, what you got in that? Oh, man, American maid? You've got arrested development written all over you, deflator mouse. <laughs> yeah, sour grapes, sweetheart. You had your chance. She'll be back. So he says to me, you gotta do something smart, baby. Something big. He says, you wanna be a supervillain, right? And I go, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, what do I gotta do? And he says, you got bombs. Blow up the comic club. It's packed with superheroes. You'll go down in supervillain history. And I go, yeah, baby, because I'm the evil midnight bomber. What bombs at midnight? Ah! Guys, don't do this to yourselves. Let's put violence in the happy box. Okay, good, good, I have your attention. Now, as everyone knows, I used to be a very violent person. I, I tried to resolve all of my problems with g g guns. <clears throat> but, 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 but I've been going to therapy and it's turned my life around. I'm more centered now, I'm a whole person. Barry, you seem to be working through some serious identity issues here. Now, Barry, I can see that you feel threatened by the tick. You're also angry and you want to find an outlet for that anger. Plus, you got some drool on your chin. <laughs> no, no, Barry, no. I said put it in the happy box. <laughs> now, let's try this again. I hate this. I didn't want to come here in the first place. Oh, borrow your sister's car. Oh, we'll have a great time. Maybe the tick's having a great time. <laughs> and so he says to me, you got legs, baby, you're everywhere. You're all over the place! Yeah. Hello? Hi! What are you doing? I just, uh, I just uh, wanted to use the, uh... And so he says, evil's okay in my book, what about yours? And I go, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah, I... I uh, just wanted to uh, wash my hands. Um, uh, oh, okay. But why does your bag say bombs on it? Oh, <laughs> that's just I... Boom, baby, boom! I'm the evil midnight bomber, what bombs at midnight? 
Oh, great. Eat my smoke, copper! Ah! <laughs> I haven't seen you look this well in years. <laughs> An object at rest cannot be stopped! So good. I think we've got the makings of a compromise here, guys. Barry, you give up calling yourself the Tick and come with me to my group therapy sessions. And Tick, I guess you can be called the Tick. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then I says, tell me I'm wrong. And he says, I can't, baby, because you're not. <laughs> This could happen to you, baby. This could happen to anybody. Uh, yeah, I'll take the porcelain dog and all the rest on a gift certificate, Chuck. <laughs> so, you still want more, huh? Oh, hi, Barry. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. <laughs> You're pinned under my shield. Submit. Renounce your name, or I will crush you flat. Never. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Good, good. Or should I say good bye? <laughs> <laughs> And so he says, I don't like the cut of your jib. And I go, I says, it's the only jib I got, baby! You know, I love a woman who dresses in stainless steel. Get lost, creep. Oh, looks bad for the tick. Nothing can withstand Barry's shield on overdrive. <laughs> I hope this makes things perfectly clear. I am the only tick around here. <laughs> uh, head spinning, ears ringing. No more of a throbbing, really. But regardless... Ouch! Say, alcohol! Okay, uncle. No, no! You know, I mean, renounce your name and call me the dick! You are... Very, 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 very! Listen, somebody's planting bombs all over the place. Oh, yeah? And who would that be, sidekick? He says he's the evil midnight bomber what bombs at midnight. Yeah, baby! Oh, sure. That sounds real. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Urchin, help! Oh, okay. Berry, 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 berry! Ugh! Got to get it together. Can't lose my name. It's on all my stationery! <laughs> 60 seconds to midnight. 60 seconds to nowhere, baby. You have all become victims of the evil midnight bomber with bombs. Hey, pay attention. Yeah, don't hurt him. He's definitely our ride home. Club policy. Sidekicks stay in the sidekick lounge. Mm. Ugh, what a terrible stink. Central nervous system shutting down. Good night. Drive safely. <laughs> My shield! I think you'd better find a new name, mister. Tech! Evil is afoot! The Comet Club is riddled with bombs, and they're set to blow at midnight. What do they look like, chum? Well, they look like that. Good heavens! They're all over the place! Yeah, baby! And you've only got 20 seconds before you all eat ceiling! Well, there's gonna be a heck of a line at the Cape Jack. Let's go get those bums, Arthur. Uh-huh. Oop, air freshener. Ha-ha! Oop. <laughs> That's it, I quit. You know, 
He is a close personal friend of mine. You make me sick to my stomach. Oh, it's always about you, isn't it? No applause necessary, just doing my job. Hey, you! You're in a lot of trouble! Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Baby. This is wearing a little thin, Barry. <clears throat> Not Barry! I'm the dick! Okay, I'll be burying you be the dick. Well, all this and a villain, too. You'll never prove a thing, copper. I'm just a part-time electrician. I, I, I... Bad is good, baby! Down with government! What a great place. Oh, yeah, that was great. Guys, I'm not gonna warn you again! Uh, what's in a name, anyway? If I were called Bob or Jack or Vinny or a piece of fruit, would I be any less a hero? And if Barry were called Rupert, Max, or Rainbow, would he be any less a jerk? I don't think so. Because a name is a rose, and it only smells as sweet as you are. Are we home yet? Ow! Ow yourself! Ow yourself! Hey, quit copying me! Hey, quit copying me. me! I know you are. I know you are. What am I? Stop it! Stop it! I was sitting here first. I'm sitting here first. Scoot yeah. over. Oh, scoot I'm over. telling you, you're hogging yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm hogging it. He's hogging everything. Hogging everything. Yeah. Make him stop, oh, yeah. Jake. Make him stop.